My name is Kelly and I'm with the customer support team here at Hospitable. Today, I'm going to give you a tour of a conversation thread with a guest. Up on the top left here, you'll see all of the relevant reservation information. You'll see the property that this reservation is for, the check-in and check-out dates and times, the times you can click on directly and make any changes. Those changes would also apply to any smart lock code settings that you have. You'll see additional details down here. And for even more detail, you can click on the details button and see some things like reservation code, listing details, and payment details. If this was a returning guest who's booked with you before, you would also be able to click between these arrows and see the different reservations that they've made with you. Scrolling down further, you'll see notes where you can add internal notes for yourself or your teammates a calendar showing the booking dates, and the property access panel. Again, if you have a smart lock that's matched to this property, this is where you would be able to see which code has been created for the guest and whether it's active on the lock or if it's just in the pending stages. Scrolling down further, this is the activity panel where you can see events, for example, when this reservation was accepted. You can see messages that were sent, and messages that are scheduled. For any of these messages, you can always click, and this will give you a little bit more information. For example, hospitable.com will delay this particular message until the, coast, until the guest has completed validation. You'll also see any tasks that are tied to this reservation at the bottom of the conversation thread. Scrolling down further, you'll see some insights about Barry, such as his latest reviews and how many reviews he has. And you'll see the conversation that you've had. At the top, you can click on Barry's name and make any changes. For example, his name might be Barry, but he actually goes by his middle name, Chris. You can make those changes there and those will apply to any settings and smart codes that you have, excuse me, short codes that you have in your messaging rules. You'll also be able to see things like where Chris lives, their phone number, and their email address. You can type manual responses here, or you can type a slash and see any canned responses that you've created. Those make it really easy to reply to your guests. You can also use the AI suggest a reply, which will automatically generate a reply with AI. I hope that tour was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and happy hosting.